Student activism Modern student activist movements vary widely in subject, size, and success, with a variety of students in various educational settings participating, including public and private school students, elementary, middle, senior, undergraduate, and graduate students, and all races, socioeconomic backgrounds, and political perspectives. Although student activism is commonly associated with left-wing politics, right-wing student movements are not uncommon, for example, large student movements fought on both sides of the apartheid struggle in South Africa. In 2012, the Quebec student movement arose due to an increase of tuition of 75%, that took students out of class and into the streets because that increase did not allow students to comfortably extend their education, because of fear of debt or not having money at all. Even in Pakistan, students took to the streets to protest changes in education policy, and on November 7, two college students died after police opened fire on a demonstration. In the 1960s, the worldwide upswing in student and youth radicalism manifested itself through the German student movement and organizations such as the German Socialist Student Union. In Kuala Lumpur on April 14, 2012, student activists camped out at Independence Square and marched against a government loan program that they said charged students high interest rates and left them with debt. Ukraine United Kingdom student political activism has existed in UK since the 1880s with the formation of the Student Representative Councils, precursors of union organizations designed to present students' interests. In 1962, the first student protest against the Vietnam War was held, with CND. However, student activism did not begin on a large scale until the mid-1960s. The first student sit-in was held at the London School of Economics in 1967 by their students' union over the suspension of two students, DAT 1320731455.